Sorry, surfer dude. You're headed for a wipeout. Iron Man. I'm reading an incoming ship. Watch out! It's about to open fire! Tony, are you all right? Ow, ow, and more ow. <sighs> With these cosmic bricks, the world will be mine to rule. But first, I should probably prevent it from being destroyed. This would have been much easier had you captured the board intact rather than blasting it to pieces. The Avengers showed up. They know how to ruin every good evil plan. Your plan is still fantastic. A poor choice of words, God of Mischief. I prefer to think of it as spectacular, maybe stupendous. I've hired every villain, bad guy, and dark minion I could find to help assemble Dr. Doom's Doom Ray of Doom. Sort of a mouthful, but all right. Speaking of that... Silence! Now we must track down more of these cosmic bricks to build my weapon. As you command, oh, most doomful one. Watch you bring me some of those uh, cosmic bricks! Why didn't they make me the supervisor here? That guy's got sand for brains. Holding Grand Central hostage at rush hour? Now that's criminal. You have to remember to look before you leap. I know, bad guys. The S.H.I.E.L.D. folks think we need to formulate a careful plan of attack using... Or we just smash our way in. Good plan. Welcome back to New York, gentlemen. What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome to my Lego Marvel Super Heroes replay walkthrough. That's right, I'm replaying Lego Marvel Super Heroes in of course anticipation for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, now here's the funny thing about this game. I've played this game so many times ever since the game came out. Like I've played it a lot pretty much every year that's gone by, but I've never actually replayed the story. I've only played the story once, and then I guess twice if you count uh, just going through and collecting all the mini kits and characters and all that kind of stuff, but I've never just played it properly. So I'm really excited to get back to it, because honestly, I don't remember all of it, so that's really good. Now then, obviously we know uh, Hulk's going to be in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, he's on the front cover for the box art. We don't know about Iron Man yet, I would say... He's definitely going to be in it. I mean, it's Iron Man. You know, he's one of the most popular Marvel characters at the moment. So, I'm pretty certain that he'll be in the game. But as for Hulk, obviously we've seen on the box art he's actually wearing his Sakaar outfit. So, you know, he it's based on his Thor Ragnarok design. Now, what I find interesting about that is... In the story, from where we left off in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1, has Hulk somehow been sent to Sakaar? Or are we just going to end up visiting there in the story and then he becomes a gladiator? It'll be interesting to see what they do, and it'll also be interesting to see if we are just going to be able to play as Sakaar Hulk, or if the um, Age of Ultron version is playable as well. Very, very excited about what they're going to do with Hulk in this game, because it looks, well, in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, because it looks very different to what we've seen in this, and Lego Marvel's Avengers. 
Iron Man we have yet to see, so I'm very curious to see what they'll do with him as well. It's gonna be a long day. Alright. Let's get this. Pull this down. Nice. But yeah, I'm really excited about playing this Hulk in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. I think it's going to be amazing being able to walk around on Sakaar as Gladiator Hulk from, from Thor Ragnarok. And, you know, hopefully we'll be able to actually fight people. Like, it would be amazing if... Because obviously we know that there's going to be battle arenas in the game. It would be even cooler if we can actually go to Sakaar, play as Gladiator Hulk, or any character for that matter, and then just, like, take on any enemy we see. So, like, there's a whole arena thing where we fight, um, Korg or some, someone like that, you know, just a bunch of famous Marvel characters that you'd expect to see in Planet Hulk or Thor Ragnarok. That would be amazing. I hope they do something like that, but if not, then you could always just use the battle arenas. Alright, we need Iron Man to shoot that down. Whoa, hang on. There we go. See, this is what I like about the LEGO games. When you play a certain game, you know, and you come back to it after years later, you're kind of like, oh, I've, I've forgotten all the controls and things like that. But when it comes to the LEGO games, you never forget because the controls are always the same, so you just know exactly what you're doing, so that's really good. Right, let's pull that off and throw it down there. There we go. Oh, got more sand people. Right. Now, of course, Iron Man and Hulk aren't the only heroes we'll be playing as in this mission, but more on that later. Or soon. We'll see. Right. There he is. Abomination. Based on, of course, his Marvel Cinematic Universe appearance. I hope they bring Abomination back at some point. I know uh, the Russo brothers actually said they thought about it for Civil War, but decided not to do it. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> um... Abomination has stinky armpits. Yeah, um, it would be cool to see Abomination again. I think that would be pretty neat. Whether we'll see him in Infinity War or not, I'm not sure, but it's. I think it's possible. Oh, the Russo brothers said they kind of considered everything the Civil War, so, you know, if that's the case, then they must be considering anything for uh, Infinity War. Like, literally anything. Anything that's possible. Because they said with Civil War they thought about using Abomination, they thought about using Red Hulk. Um, no, sorry, no, that's wrong. They thought about using Red Hulk, not Abomination. Abomination was actually considered for Avengers Age of Ultron. I think what they were going to do there is instead of Hulkbuster, they were going to unleash Abomination again. I think. I'm personally glad, with, uh, happy with, you know, what we got. But that still would have been very cool to see, you know, because I, I really do miss, miss Abomination. I always feel like the Incredible Hulk movie is one of those underrated gems of the MCU. It's just such a good movie in my opinion. I love it. I think it's great. Uh, but yeah, so the Russos said they wanted, they thought about using Red Hulk and Iron Spider in Civil War. So I mean, that just gives you a, a taste of what we might see in Infinity War. I'm not sure if we'll see Red Hulk in Infinity War, but I definitely feel like that's coming. I feel like General Ross will definitely become Red Hulk at some point. Hopefully in Phase 4, because I think that would be great. You don't want too many uh, stories overlapping each other, you know? Right. Save it there. And then it disappears, doesn't it? Yep, there we go. And then we need to throw this one as well. Alright. Take that, Sandman! Yes. Now, where there's a Sandman... There's a Spider-Man not far behind. So we we'll probably see Peter very soon. In the main terminal. <laughs> mm, there they are. Sandman. Oh, delays. <laughs> okay, delays. <laughs> oh yeah, um, one of the cool things I remember about Lego Marvel Super Heroes is when you played as Bruce Banner, I think it actually had different lines and things as well. So, like, if you play as Bruce Banner in this section, he would say things that Hulk Dr. would Banner, say. This might be a good time for you to get angry. That's pretty cool. I, lo I love that. I'm wanting him to see if he'll say something. Ah! Don't hit Banner. That's not a good idea. But he would, like, speak in his Banner voice when you weren't Hulk. He sometimes does that. I'm sure of it. I remember. It's asking me to transform. Not yet. I want to see what happens. I want to see if he says anything. See, if we get past here, he might say something. You never know. Hopefully. That would be nice. Looks like the writing's on the wall for you guys. 
walls are only good for keeping people apart. There you go, see? He actually does... Uh, he does actually uh, say something. That's pretty cool. At least I know a good spot. I love that. I absolutely love that attention to detail. Very, very cool. I d I'm not even sure if many people picked up on that, so... It's pretty cool. Nice little uh, hidden... Well, I don't know if you call it an Easter egg, but it's a hidden little thing in it in the game. Ah, yes, I remember this. Let's spray him down. Whoop! Oh, wrong character. There we go. Spray him down. Yeah. That's it. Oh, now but might be a good time for me to get angry. Grrr, this never gets old. It just never ever gets old. Oh, and also since we have the Thor Ragnarok design, there is actually a for a first. This is a first for Lego, I think. A Bruce Banner minifigure. So we do actually get a Bruce Banner minifigure in one of the Thor Ragnarok sets. So I'm guessing that the Hulk we get in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 will turn into that Bruce Banner instead. And he will be able to turn into Bruce Banner. There's no doubt about that. I mean, they would never take that out of the game. It's one of the most... Uh, it's one of the best features in the entire game. Everyone loves the transformation uh, animations and things like that in the Lego Marvel games. So they'd never get rid of them. Never. They're just too good. I mean, everyone knows how much uh, it was incredible to see, like, uh, Spider-Man transforming, well, not transforming, you know, changing into Peter Parker in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, like, in the open world. When I found that out for the very first time, my mind was just blown. I just could not believe it. It was unreal. Because I'd always wanted something like that in a, in a, in a Spider-Man game. Not just a LEGO or a Marvel game, but a Spider-Man game in general. And I just couldn't believe it. It was a really nice surprise because they never ever hinted at it or suggested it. No one suggested it, really. Um, well, I think I did. I think I said like it would be cool if we could do that. But I never thought they'd actually do it. That's the thing. If anything, I thought we'd get like Bruce Banner, not Bruce Banner, sorry, Peter Parker as um, as an alternative character, not a, ch a character that can change into Spider-Man. That that was just amazing, really nice surprise. Hopefully, we will get more surprises like that in Lego Marvel Super Heroes too. Take that! Yeah, right. And throw. Three, sweet. All right. Taking a there he is, my boy. Guess I'll just have best character of all time, Spidey. Go, Spider-Man. Whoa! I gotta say, the graphics have aged really well for this game. You Avenger guys are really great at making a mess. <laughs> hey! I just replaced that! It's funny, when this game came out, this was like, post-Amazing Spider-Man, I think? So, at the time, Andrew Garfield was our Spider-Man, and there's there's a few little references here and there to that Spider-Man, especially his hair coat when he's Peter Parker. Um, your name, Tony. And I think he mentions Aunt May needs some far. eggs. We've but now, we're in the year 2017, says and we have Tom Holland. As Spider-Man in the Marvel Spider Cinematic Man. Universe. I mean, it's amazing how much can change in, in not a few years, really. Not long years. Oh, yes, I remember this. So, in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 1, you couldn't actually climb walls all the time. You could only climb on these special surfaces. Now, of course, in LEGO Avengers, we, we know, you know, you could climb on anything you saw, which was incredible. I mean, we all wanted that in this game, and it was really weird that it wasn't in it, but when it was in LEGO Avengers, it was just so cool. And I'm certain it'll be in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes too. I mean, the reaction to such a small thing like that was pretty big. Um, people were very happy you could do that. And I mean, Spidey is just so much fun to play as in these games. I can't wait to see what they've done with him in the new game. I really cannot wait. Because what I love about the front cover 
is we all know Peter Parker will be in the game. It's it's obvious. It's Peter Parker, Spider-Man. He's definitely going to be in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. So they kind of thought, I guess they kind of thought, all right, you know, everyone knows Peter will be in the game. Why not give another Spidey some limelight? So they put Miguel O'Hara on the front cover. Spider-Man 2099. I just think that's brilliant because like I said, I know Peter will be in the game. I'm not worried about that. But having another Spider-Man on the front cover, that's just so cool. And a lot of people have pointed out, you know, I was too hyped up when I did my videos, but a lot of people have pointed out that uh, Miguel actually has his web wings on, you know, where his armpits are. Um, so, can we use them in game? I mean, there's a tons of possibilities there. When you got a character like Spider-Man 2099, it's not just Peter. You know, it's not just a reskin of Peter with, as Spider-Man 2099. He'll actually have new abilities and things, I would imagine. So that's all very, very exciting. And I do hope they take advantage of, like, gliding with web wings, because that would be incredible. And, of course, that's not the only Spider-Man we've seen. We've also seen Spider-Gwen. I mean, yes! I can't wait to play as Spider-Gwen. I wanted her in LEGO Marvel's Avengers, so that's really great. That's a really clever character uh, idea, if you ask me. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing as Spider-Gwen. But, of course, you know, knowing me, I love it how Peter can turn into Spider-Man, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, and LEGO Marvel's Avengers. So, I really hope that 2099 can change into Miguel O'Hara and Spider-Gwen can turn into Gwen and whoever else is in the game that's a spider it would be great if they can turn into their alter eagles as well it's just such a cool feature and the more of it we get the merrier if you ask me alright let's swing over here Spidey spider sets again what is it? also speaking of Spider-Man we know like I said we know Peter will probably be in the game and when you look at the front cover, there's a lot of MCU outfits. So you got MCU Doctor Strange, MCU uh, Thor, uh, what else? No, not Thor, sorry, Hulk. You know, we, we know we're getting a lot of that. And Black Panther as well, I believe, and, and of course the Guardians of the Galaxy. So I wonder, are we going to get this Spider-Man again for the main story? Or are we going to get Spider-Man Homecoming? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But it would be cool to have both of them. I just wonder which one will appear in the story. If they'll appear at all. I mean, honestly, I know it's way too early to say, but Spider-Man Homecoming content might be DLC. But you never know. I mean, I was thinking Thor Ragnarok would be DLC, but it's in the main game. So, yeah, it's definitely possible. Definitely possible. Let's see if we can get Hulk to say more, well, Bruce Banner to say more things, because I love that. I want him to say more cool stuff. All right, there we go. There he is, Sandman. See, at the time when this game came out, it was like the closest we'd, that we'd ever get to the Avengers and Spider-Man working together. And it was the MCU Avengers working with like a comic book look on Spider-Man. It was awesome. It was a really, really cool thing to see because at that time, we all nobody thought that Spider-Man would ever join the MCU. And well, here he is now, which is just insane. So when you when we all saw this for the very first time, Spider-Man taking on Sandman outside Stark Tower with Hulk and Iron Man, I mean, it was crazy. It was absolutely insane. Even now, it's just so cool to see. I mean, the, the level design as well in this one is really, really nice. Very, very nice. And swinging around the levels is always fun, of course. And the city. Right. So we need Banner for this, obviously. Well, we need to climb up here first before we change it to Hulk. There we go. Time to Hulk out! Hulk smash! Yeah! Nice! Alright, and let's pull it down. Hulk, remember. Remember what? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've already done what you wanted me to do. Aha! Back to Spidey. Spidey's the best. I'm so excited to swing around uh, 2099 as Spider-Man 2099. I mean, that is going to be incredible. What an awesome thing to be able to do in this game. It sounds like Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, but Lego. <laughs> I mean, we're getting to play as Spider-Man 2099. I just, I was not expecting anything like that. I was expecting Spider-Man, but I wasn't expecting a futuristic Spider-Man. That's just crazy. They're doing some really, really, really unique stuff with this game. Oh, no. 
I'm melting. I think a lot of people, you know, even though I love Lego Marvel's Avengers, I know a lot of people wanted more Spider-Man, they wanted the Guardians and stuff like that. Um, and I think this game's really going to show you that they can do a lot more than just the Avengers. So that game was a celebration of the Avengers. This game is a celebration of Marvel now. You know, m what Marvel is now. Uh, so you got the you got the Spider-Man, you know, the Spider-Verse. I'm guessing we're going to get more Spider-Man because we've got Spider-Gwen, we've got Spider-Man 2099. It's really seems like they're hitting at the Spider-Verse. Then we've got the Guardians, we've got Thor Ragnarok, we've got Doctor Strange, we've got Black Panther. It's really hinting at it's really celebrating what Marvel is now. And there we go. I think that's it, isn't it? You think you can stop me? I'm not pulling any more punches! These guys' attacks are so fast. Talk about your quicksand, I've definitely got a sinking feeling right now. Yeah. I hate to have a oh, here we go. This is it. You just won't take a hit. Ah! Ah! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, Sandman! All right, so there we go. All right, Hulk. Now you can throw it at him. And throw. That should do it. Oh, you're done for now, Sandman. Go get him, Hulk. Don't we have to use Spider-Man in this bit as well? Pretty sure we... I'm sure we use him for something. You got me that time. But I'll still beat you to the punch! You think so, do you? Flint Marco. Whoa. Yeah, honestly, I think the graphics have actually aged pretty well for this game. I was kind of worried it would look a bit old, but it looks fine to me. The reason I'm saying that is because I, like, like I said earlier, I play the game a lot um, in just free roam and making mods and stuff like that and making trailers. Um, but that's on my PC. I've always done that on PC. I'm playing this version on PS3. Um, I mean, not PS3, <laughs> sorry, PS4. Uh, wow, we're really going back. <laughs> I'm also glad, speaking of PS3, I'm also glad the game is uh, sticking to next-gen. Now, I know that a lot of people are not going to be happy about me saying that, and the thing is, I'm sorry, you guys, if you don't have a next-gen system, that you're not going to be able to play the game. I'm sorry about that. But the thing is, these games can be better than what they've been. And when they take full advantage of the next-gen hardware, they're going to be amazing. And the fact that LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 is doing that, that to me just proves that they're going all out on this game and that it's going to be better than we can possibly imagine. Making it next gen only is a big deal. And I'm really glad they went with it. I, I, I'm also sad at the same time because some people won't be able to experience the game for a while, you know, until they are able to get a next gen system, but I feel like it's for the best for the game. If you want the game to be the best it can be, next gen only is what you do. And I think TT Games have realized that. Definitely. Ah! Careful, Sandman. All right, I think that's it. Oh yeah, we have to use our spider, spider sense, sense here. Something goes wrong. There we go, spider sense. Ah, no! Also, another thing about Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, obviously you couldn't transform, well, you could transform into Bruce Banner and Hulk in the story, but you can't actually do that with Spider-Man. You can't turn Spider-Man into Peter Parker, that's only in the free roam. But in Lego Marvel's Avengers, you could do that. You could play as Peter Parker in the levels. Once you got the DLC. Aha! Take that, Sandman! Yeah! Right. Uh oh. Now what? Oh, Hulk smash? You got it. See, this game, like, 
hinted at stuff that we were going to see. Well, I didn't hint because they didn't know, obviously. But look at that. Like, that's damage control right there. Like, at the time, damage control weren't even in the MCU. And then this year, we got Spider-Man Homecoming. And damage control is going to be introduced in that, which is pretty crazy. I mean, TT Games are really on their ball. Really on the ball, like, when they thought of the ideas to put into this game. They had, like, uh, you know... They had Black Panther, they had the Guardians of the Galaxy, they had um, just lots and lots of characters and references and things, and it's kind of like they they were basically preparing us for the future of the MCU, and they really did. I mean, when I went to see Captain America the Winter Soldier, I came home and I played as Cap and the Winter Soldier because of that Super Pack DLC, so... They, so job done, you know? And also, I think LEGO Marvel's Avengers did that as well. I think it prepared us for the future of the MCU. And I thought that would be it. But then LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 comes along, and that pretty much prepares you for the all of Infinity War. I mean, you've got the Thor Ragnarok content, the Guardians of the Galaxy, Doctor Strange, Black Panther. It's... yeah. If you want a game that's going to prepare you for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and Marvel in general, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 is your game. But if you want something now, Lego Marvel's Avengers or this is definitely a game. Right. It's funny when you look back at the character grid now, like that's still a lot of characters and this game has a brilliant roster. But when you look at it now, it's quite small in comparison because obviously like Lego Marvel's Avengers had like what? 300 characters? Something like that? Like if you count all the costumes and things, it's it's nuts. It's absolutely insane. And I can't imagine how many characters there's going to be in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Especially now that we're next gen only. I mean, hopefully they can really push it and just give us as many characters, as many vehicles, as many worlds as possible. Because that would be amazing. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this first part of my LEGO Marvel Super Heroes replay walkthrough. Now, I'm not sure how frequent these episodes will be. I kind of want them to maybe be weekly. I don't really want them to be daily or something like that because I want it to kind of be on the run-up to LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. So I don't want it to be too late, but I don't want it to be too early as well. So there might be a new episode next week, but, you know, you'll have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots of more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.